Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make the lining for my crochet bags. The lighting is horrible. I was filming this at nighttime uh, and just using like my little office lamp. I set it on the floor there. <laughs> it's very yellow, sorry, but um, you know what? I don't care. So here I am. Um, I'm going to show you the blade that I use. So it's like a rotary blade, except it has like the little notches in it. Um, you can't, you can hardly see it there, but the regular rotary blade is just flat and this one has little notches to make holes. That's like the most important thing uh, when it comes to my lining bags, my, my liners. Um, I use that to basically cut little tiny holes in the edge of the fabric so that I can crochet it into the bag. So this is no sew, um, all I do is crochet. Quick pause because this made me think of the no take only throw meme with the dog. And the reason I did this, like the reason I figured this out was because I really was dreading um, putting linings in my bags. A bunch of people kept asking or saying like, oh, like it would be such a great bag if it had a lining. Or, oh yeah, that bag is really cool. I just wish it had a lining, whatever. So I'm like, I started researching and I found this tool um, from another creator on YouTube and it works really good and it's amazing. Um, Cause I was really intimidated by sewing. Like I know how to sew, I have a sewing machine but that's not the point. The point is that I want to crochet, not sew. <laughs> so, 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 I found this way to do it and I'm really excited. And um, the first one I did was a little cringe. Uh, it was a little bad because I didn't have the proper like tools. I was using my regular crochet hook and basically trying to poke it through the ginormous hole or the tiny holes. And um, yeah, it was not that great. So. Um, I ended up buying like a 0.5 millimeter hook and that works a lot better. I can still use the same yarn, um, you just need the smaller hook and that'll help, that'll, that'll work. So anyway, here we are, I'm just showing you how I'm cutting the fabric. So I basically measure the bag and then, you know, figure out the dimensions and there's probably a way, I mean, I know there's a way to make the lining out of one piece of fabric and then just basically sew up the sides, and that is what I do for certain bags. Um, however, for the bag I was making right there, it was basically like a little cube, and I was going to make it like drawstring at the top. Um, so what I did was I'm cutting a square at the bottom, like just one square for the bottom part, and then a really long rectangle to go all the way around. Um, and I, I will attach the square to the big rectangle um, and I'll show you that eventually. Now I'm going to cut the lining for this little pumpkin bag. So I'm going to do the same thing except the bottom is going to be a circle instead of a square. So in order to do that I fold the fabric into fours like this and then from that center corner where you folded both sides, um, that center one, you're just going to measure the radius of the circle out and mark it there so you can see I'm just using a white pen and then you cut along that edge you'll have um, like a quarter of a circle it'll kind of look like a little pie slice and once you unfold it it'll be a nice little circle there there you go and then yeah you can see me kind of demonstrating how I'm gonna put it on there and now I just have to get my other blade on my rotary cutter the one that puts the holes and put the holes in and oh, there is a really good view of the rotary blade for you. Uh, it's kind of sarcastic, <laughs> it's so blurry. Um, but you get the point. It's a rotary blade, it just has notches in it instead of flat around. So I just take that, there you go, that's a better view. So I take that and go along the edge to put the little holes in it. And once all the holes are in there, I'll show you how I put the lining in. It has worked really well. Oh, there, you can see the teeny tiny little holes. Very small, very cute. And yeah. 
So from here, I will um, continue showing you how I put the holes in, and then I will show you how I put the lining in itself. But for now, I'm just going to play some music while I put the rest of the holes in there. Alrighty, and then here is later that day, and I'm sewing the pieces together. A wonderful view for you. I was sitting at my kitchen table, and my phone was just sitting up on a water bottle or something. <laughs> Don't you love hearing all the behind the scenes thing of like recording a YouTube video? Okay, anyway, so as you can see, I have the little square of fabric, and the other like long rectangle piece and you can kind of see the edges there where I've crocheted already so I'm basically just doing single crochets all the way across and just putting my hook through the fabric as I go and the holes are there you go you can see a great view of the bottom and now I'm just gonna stitch up that side piece there um, so the holes are further apart than one single crochet is, like the, the length of the single crochet itself. So what I end up doing is I single crochet with the fabric and then I just like chain two in between. Um, and that gives me good spacing. Um, obviously, like if you're gonna do this, just kind of figure out the spacing of your own, like, with your yarn and everything and you know you can figure it out on your own um but yeah that's what works for me and i'm just gonna play some more music for you here so you can watch me crochet this lining up finished as you can see it's it's like a little little cube it's like a little box <laughs> and then uh, from there I just go ahead and so you saw me flip it inside out or uh, the, the right side in I, I pointed it so that it's the right way and so now that the lining is like sewn up and perfect um, now I'm gonna put the lining in the bag so I do the same exact thing like I said I do a single crochet and then like chain two but instead of just chaining two I go along the edge of the bag where the um, the crochet edge is there and I do single crochets there just without the lining itself there and so yeah that's how I do the lining look at that focus <laughs> um, it is a little hard with the thicker yarn like it's it's not not doable but yeah uh, so there's the finished bag. It's so cute. It's just a little little sack, kind of. Um, and then after that, I took my regular hook and I put a little edge on the top. I did double crochets and then um, like every three double crochets, I skipped a few to put little holes in it. Because uh, like I said, I wanted to put a drawstring so it can kind of like cinch up at the top. And yeah, that's how I did the bag. Um, oh, and then obviously I had to make the strap. And for the strap, I just did um, a long chain of double crochets. Uh, like, I, I did a long chain and then put double crochets in the chain. And, yeah, that's it. That's the bag. I'm going to play more music, and I'll show some pictures of it at the end for you. Mm -hmm. 